Hey guys, it's your boy KSLO GDBT, and welcome to Let's Talk FIFA 12. Now this will be the last one since I basically talked about every single aspect of FIFA 11 that sucks, except for one, career mode. Now, while I was on holiday, I took my Xbox with me. Yes, I took my Xbox. That's how I roll. And while I took my Xbox, I only had offline since I didn't have internet, you know, in Portugal. So I decided, hey, why not try offline mode? Lots of people have been telling me to do a Let's Talk FIFA 12 on career mode, but since I don't like playing offline, I decided not to until now and basically it sucks it sucks a lot and i'll tell you why so i went and did manager mode in the hardest difficulty possible again because that's how i roll and then we began oh the irony so i picked leads um because i have a friend who supports leads and i realized they had a rather fast black man called gridel who was very fast. So I basically just abused his pace like a bitch. And also McCormack uh, did well for me as well. This was the same with Becchio and Watt. Although I do believe Watt was a loaned player from Arsenal. So I lost him in the next season. So yada yada yada, I played all the games, blah blah blah, and I got promoted. Woot woot. So yeah, I got promoted, yeah, big deal. Anyway, I looked at my team the next season, and this is where the bullcrap began. The growth system sucks. It sucks way more than your local hooker if you paid her a tip. Damn, you ugly. So let's look at player growth. As you can see here, we have a player called McCann. Now he has high potential, so I decided, okay, let's give him a bit of playing time. So why in God's name is his growth minus one. Again, we have another one, Schmeichel. My assistant coach says there's nothing to report, even though he's increased by four. I mean, I don't see the logic here. Let me get this straight. A player with high potential loses growth, yet someone who has nothing to report gains by four. I mean, someone needs to look at that assistant coach because he's sucking a lot of ass right now. But anyway, I start my second season and to my surprise, I was fired. So I said, okay, um, bit of a piss take. Why did I get fired? So I clicked the inbox and this is what it said. Unfortunately, we have to inform you that the board has decided to remove you from your position as a manager of the club. Reason, Performing well against the season objective. Are you actually serious? Are you actually taking the piss? Are you actually squeezing my tits? So the board decides to fire me after I did well. For doing well, I get fired. And funnily enough, this happened again. I joined another team and I finished one season, got promoted, woot, Woot, and in the second season, I got fired. So again, I look and I realize, again, I get fired for having a great last season. For having a great last season, you fire me. I don't get this. Okay, it's basically like this. Picture this. I walk into the boardroom, I sit down, and the board member goes, Okay, Mr. Black, man. Basically, we called you in to congratulate you over your success in this club. You have done absolutely amazing. Why, thank you. Mm -hmm. So basically, we want to reward you by firing you. Wait, wait, wait. Come again? Wait, what did I just miss? I believe you missed the part where I said you're fired. So wait, you called me in to congratulate me and congratulate my success, and then you fire me. Yep, yep, that sounds quite right. Screw you, asshole! It's basically like that. It's ridiculous. Why am I getting fired for doing well? It just, it's not making any sense here. 
And it's not just this. Legendary is a bitch and basically knows every single move you do. There are so many retarded transfers, it's ridiculous. I mean, would this ever happen? Reputation is completely pointless. I had a five star reputation and I got fired and these were the teams I could be. This later resulted in me switching off my Xbox from being so pissed off. What's the point in our earnings? We can't use it, so why is it there? We can't even buy bacon strips, a house, a horse. We can't even buy your local hooker with AIDS. Oh, hell nah. It's basically pointless. But keep in mind, I've only just shown you half of this mode. I've only shown you half of career mode. I still haven't gone through be a pro mode because that's a totally different story that's even more bullcrap i mean in fact i'll show you in the next part i will show you how bad it is and it's been your boy k salut please like please subscribe and peace hey you yeah you follow me on twitter that's where it's going down